up and down the coast, from the beaches to the valleys. This is KEYT News Channel 3, where the news comes first. Good morning, everyone, and welcome to Midday. I'm Sherman Roger. And I'm Joe Butita. Thanks so much for joining us. We want to continue our coverage of the coastal crisis, and we begin in Goleta, where they are under a state of emergency this morning. Crude oil from that refugio spill moving down the coast and washing up on more Santa Barbara County beaches, currently affecting more than nine and a half square miles. It's closer to 12 miles this morning. News Channel 3 senior reporter John Palmentary is at Haskell's Beach in Goleta with more on that situation there. John, good morning. And this area is west of the Sandpiper Golf Course, and I'll show you that the good land, Goleta, might have some good news. First of all, they put these protections up by this sensitive creek here at Haskell's Beach, and that's in case any of the tides come up this high, but it doesn't look like it. Now we're going to take you over here to the beach to the uh, east of Bacar Resort, and it's actually much cleaner today than it was last night. And we're going to show you where the high tide was and also show you what it looks like. So for those who are coming down here, they're going to have to do a little tap dance to go around this ribbon here that goes from those rocks all the way down the beach here. And let's take a close-up look now as we look down at what is here. Now, some of the locals say this is normal. Some would say this is not as normal as we see here with these this string, this ribbon of uh, seaweed and tar. But once you get over it, if you tap dance around it and don't get your shoes too dirty, it's clean sand right through here and all the way down to the low tide area. So this has been all uh, covered with water and everything. So let's dig down here and just see what is down here. And it looks like, for the most part, it's just the typical wet sand. Now that's got to be good news for Galita and everyone out here who was worried about a big blob coming this way. Take a look at the ocean real close here now. It's choppy, a little bit windy, and any oil slick that is coming this way is certainly breaking up. They've retrieved about 9,000 gallons of what they call an oil water mix with the skimming boats, which are up the coastline now to the west, past Naples and up by El Cap and Refugio, that's good news. They're also cleaning the beach. But for now, nobody's down here cleaning the beach. The Wildlife Care Network has certainly been down here with its truck looking for any marine life, and we have not seen any oil birds or injured marine life at this time. Assemblymember Doss Williams of the State Coastal Commission will have representatives down here tomorrow to take a close-up look as part of this ongoing investigation on the impacts from that Refugio oil spill along our Santa Barbara County Gaviota coastline. Reporting live from Haskell's Beach this morning, I'm John Palmentary, News Channel 3. All right, John, thank you very much. And just minutes ago, environmental groups, including the Sierra Club, wrapped up a news conference. They say the response for them has been too slow and not big enough, and the impact could be far reaching. We're not just talking about wildlife, which is extraordinarily important, and we're not just talking about beach destruction, which is extraordinarily important, but we're also talking about air quality. Uh, that there is no perfectly safe way to develop oil. There is no pipeline that will not rupture. There is no well bore that is impervious to damage. There is no way that you can avoid the environmental risks that go along with oil development. Tourism experts and local adventure guides also speaking at this news conference today. They say that their business has been affected. They've seen a lot of cancellations. And Bacara Resort has, uh, was also brought up during this news conference. They say they've had 20 cancellations because people are hearing about the spill and not wanting to come to the area. And speaking about wildlife, new this morning, the rescue team at SeaWorld in San Diego is caring for an oiled sea lion affected by the spill in Refugio. Take a look at this cute pup. The sea lion is a female pup between one and four years. She was found covered in oil and in ill health last night. An environmental scientist with the California Department of Fish and Game transported her to SeaWorld in San Diego. We're hearing that the pup is being monitored and will remain at the facility until it is fit to return to the wild. Unfortunately, though, she won't be the only one affected by this spill.